Are the products at Dollar Tree really worth it now that they've increased the price to $1.25? Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I want to welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. So yes, this is a very big topic of conversation and even now I definitely find myself walking into Dollar Tree and looking at items a little bit differently, wondering is this really worth $1.25 or would I spend the money if it was still a dollar? Dollar Tree has also promised a lot of exciting new things to come with this price increase, so that is definitely what I'm hoping for. I did find some new things that I definitely think are worth your $1.25, and I want to share with you those today. So yes, the price increase has hit my area, which is Southern Illinois. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments below whether it has increased or is it still a dollar where you are. So I did find some things that I think are worth it. They are new products, at least to me in my area. Maybe you've seen some before and you'll have to let me know. But these are the things that I definitely feel like are worth $1.25. Crafting supplies are one of those things I am definitely rethinking when it comes to Dollar Tree items. Is it worth it? Is the quality worth it? And some things I think I'll probably just be going to the craft store for, like paints and glue sticks and things like that. However, they are still rolling out some new items that are definitely worth your $1.25. I came across both a craft spatula and a craft scraper at my Dollar Tree. And if you have a vinyl machine, likely you already have one of these. These are staples when you're working with vinyl cutting machines, but they also come in really handy for other crafting like Mod Podging, or if you're working with paper crafts, or if you're needing some spares or backups, definitely grab these worth the price. You definitely cannot find these at the craft store at this price point. Organization is a big thing when it comes to Dollar Tree too. Likely a lot of times with organization, you need to buy multiples of things. So whether you're buying two, three, six, eight of containers, just so you have that nice flow and aesthetic once you have all of your organization in place. Dollar Tree is a great place to find plastic bins, things for your jewelry, for your kitchen. So highly recommend still finding your organization items at Dollar Tree because it's still hard to find organization bins at that price point. I did find a really neat new item that is for organization as well. This is a broom and mop holder. I had never seen these before. I feel like this is a great product for $1.25. It has two little spots for a broom or a dust mop, and it also has a hook on the front too. So it shows a little duster that you could hang on there, but think outside the box with these two. Maybe you have some craft supplies that you could utilize this for. So I think this is a great bargain item and great find for $1.25. All right, so I left this in the package so you can see it too, but I'm gonna take it out so you can see it as well. This is a collapsible dog bowl. For $1.25, you cannot get that at the pet store for that. It even has a little hook on the side too to make it easy to carry or even hang up when you're not using it. So I wanted to show you how this works. It's just silicone and it pops open for use, but also think you could use this in your craft room too, maybe for water, for your paint brushes and things like that. But I just thought that was definitely a great bargain find and worth the money. I was very, very surprised to find a tablet holder stand at Dollar Tree. I found these at Ikea. I think it's the Brata or the Brata, something like that. That's what they're called at Ikea. Those are actually $6.99, so this is a great bargain. You could use these in your kitchen to put cookbooks on. You can use this in your craft area to set your tablet on or your phone on. You could even probably fit a small laptop on here and kind of set it on a board and make it a little lap stand for you. So grab one of these if you're needing something like this from your Dollar Tree, because it's definitely cheaper than Ikea. This is the only seasonal item that will be in this video, but I had to share it. It is a heart-shaped muffin tin. I jumped on Amazon and found a similar one that was $16.99. It's a little bit bigger, but definitely you could still buy two of these and it would be cheaper than the one on Amazon. Pretty good quality, nice 
muffin pan. You could even use this for activities with your kiddos, craft with it, bake with it. So a great, great find. And I thought for $1.25, I don't think you could find it for that cheap anywhere else. And speaking of organization containers, I saw some really pretty new colors, gray, pink, a mint color. I love mint colors in my craft room. It kind of is subtle and almost neutral and it plays off of all the rainbow colors that are in my craft room. So I kind of tend to lean towards that mint color. I found these clear lidded with a handle shorter squatty organization bins. I grabbed several of these for my craft space and I also finally <laughs> at the start of the year, one of my new year's resolutions is to start printing my photos. So I printed probably 200 photos and I needed a way to store them. So these are gonna be perfect for that. I did grab three of these from my store and I'm hoping it's an item that they keep around and maybe do in different colors because they're pretty good quality. I like the handle on top. I like that they're sleek and they stack really nicely too. I'm loving all of the metal items that Dollar Tree is carrying. One of my Dollar Tree even has a whole end cap full. And so I found these cute metal buckets. There's a set of three in there. So I grabbed two packs of these. I think these are gonna be so, so great for springtime, whether you're planting, decorating with them. They just scream spring and summertime with me. So I'm excited to do some projects with these. So make sure to come back as a lot of these products you're gonna be seeing in upcoming Dollar Tree DIY videos and organization videos too. And I would love to have you come back and join me for those. And speaking of spring, I thought these were so cute. These were with the regular candles, but they are very springtime for me. Little succulent shaped candles with little words on the front, just cute little additions. I see these in little tiered trays or in the centerpiece on a kitchen island. I don't know, I love succulents. I grabbed two of these. I love the kind of terracotta pot on this one. Really a nice kind of combo set. So not only do I love to keep everything as organized as I can, I also am very organized when it comes to my office space and keeping a calendar and a to-do list and post-it notes are another one of my obsessions. I use post-it notes like every single day. So when I came across this really, really cute box, I didn't expect what was inside, but when I opened it up, look at this post-it notes and even these little flagged smaller ones. They are so cute. Post-it notes are not cheap when it comes to the name brand. These are just as good as the name brand. And I love that this will give me a nice variety. And when you close it up, you also have a nice little cute box to put on your desk. Honestly, this next item, I was a little bit upset when I found it Dollar Tree because I got my mom some of these shower fizzers from Amazon for Christmas and they were like 20 or $25 for probably this many of them. So I definitely felt like I didn't get a good deal when it came to those, but now Dollar Tree has them. So you can save yourself a lot of money. They had two different scents. They had lavender and coconut. And these are basically, if you don't have a bathtub, you put these in your shower and they kind of melt and they have a nice scent and aroma to them. So a nice little pampering item. And like I said, definitely worth the money because I overpaid on Amazon. Let's stick with the spa theme. These are so cute. They're little plastic cups and it is a spa gift set in a cup, which is kind of funny, but I'm thinking back to when my kiddo was a little and we had slumber parties and things, and this would have been so easy to just grab and use as party favors. Or think again, you could use this and put a little gift card inside of them and give to a friend for a birthday gift. Valentine's Day is coming up. This would be great to give as a gift for that too, but it is such a good bargain, I feel like, because it's got a poofy in there. It's got a nail brush, a nail file, and nail clippers, and it's even decorated up really cute too. So I'm going to try this with you guys right now because the thought of this sounds really neat, but I don't know if it's any good or not. It is a hydrating lotion mist, so it's basically a lotion spray. So let's try this out. All right, so I'm going to shake it up. I'm pretty sure Bath & Body Works has something similar to this, and obviously it's definitely not $1.25. So the first thing I realized is it's got glitter in it. It's kind of got a sparkle in it. And I got the coconut one. So let's see. 
Okay, definitely smells like coconut. Um, does it? It definitely leaves a little bit of sparkle behind and it's pretty hydrating. So not a bad deal, I don't think, from Dollar Tree, a nice spa item to treat yourself with. So let's talk candles. I found these great candle holders too, and they have these wooden bases. So I've seen Dollar Tree DIYers creating something similar to this with the wooden blocks, the tumble tower blocks. So now Dollar Tree caught on and they made their own little stands. So I feel like I grabbed two of these because I think they're cute like this, the way they come and then they sit in and the legs go up the sides or you can flip them over. So you can just like take these off and flip them over and use it as a stand. So I thought this would be cute like set, like a tiered effect or you could put plants in these, not just use it as a candle holder. I love these and this will save you having to make your own tumble tower block stands. So I definitely think that is worth the cost. <laughs> and again with the candles, you saw me crafting with the LED candles at Christmas time. I love them and actually came across some new ones I hadn't seen. So the other ones were kind of a creamy color and shorter. These are white and taller. So I found those. I also found red. So red is one of those colors that I grab any time of year because you can use them any time of year. So even though these were out after Christmas time, you can use them for Valentine's Day, 4th of July, summertime if you're gonna decorate with like strawberries or watermelon. So I feel like red is one of those colors that kind of goes across the board through all the seasons. So yes, you'll be seeing these in upcoming DIY videos. Now, come on. I mean, for $1.25, you have to know that these are a bargain right away. They're kind of those candy dish style things with the little lids on them. They remind me of like a retro candy shop, but you could paint these, you could decorate them, and you can use them to store things in your kitchen or your pantry and your craft room. So mine, I only had two at my craft store, so I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for more. I'm hoping I can find more and put them in my crafting space that I showed you earlier. So I had to do some math with this one. This one is protective wrap. I grabbed this because I'd never seen it in my Dollar Tree and I thought it'd be really helpful when I pack away seasonal decor items to keep them from kind of spilling all over the place or from breaking. So I did have to do some math. Like I said, this one is 300 square feet and I found one similar on Amazon for $7.84. You get 1,000 square feet on the Walmart one. So it is still cheaper to actually purchase three of these from the Dollar Tree versus the one at Walmart. So I think I still found some really great finds at Dollar Tree, even with the price increase. But I'm sure a lot of you are like me and will be weighing our options. Is it still worth it to shop at Dollar Tree? Are we heading over to other department stores and craft stores instead? You let me know what you're gonna do down in the comments below, but you'll definitely still be finding Dollar Tree DIYs, hauls, and inspiration here on the Daily DIYer channel. Please take a second, hit that thumbs up button that helps out my channel so, so much. And if you're new, I would love to have you join our DIY family here. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting.